Okay. Got all the cabinet doors built. Now I'm out of these L brackets, so I gotta order some more for that one. I'm taking all these back off. And now I'm gonna, as you can see, the hinges, they're not even. I hate that. I also gotta do something in here and on the ends. Got an idea for that. But I'm not liking how these cabinets are. They, they need more adjustment. I've got the knobs put on. And I need to get some magnets so that they will all close evenly. Now I can loosen up some screws on the hinges over there and that, that'll fix that. But I've got to take them all back off. I want to measure, make sure all that the cabinet or the hinges are in the right place. Now these are actually an inch smaller than these. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. So you're not, I'm just going to match up where the, if I measure where the hinges are on each one of them, get them in the same spot, you won't see that. And I'm going to paint those black so it will be less visible. Now, as I go in the house or go in the shed, I've been finding tools here and there and gathering them up. This is not how they're all going to be permanently. I just got to, went and bought a few more kits of these things. Uh, these are not the best ones. I had, I think a subscriber sent me these. And these got that little nub there, which are really good. They don't fall out when you take something off of them. Uh... And I like them. One bad design in this that I did was I put that board right here. And what that does is that renders that part of the pegboard useless. So I wouldn't, I didn't do that here. So I can pretty much use it all except for where the corner braces are. But too late now. Hey, and there's going to be more pegboard. I may even just go ahead and hang this. And then when I go to put my vents in, just drill right through the wall through the pegboard and everything it isn't going to be any harder than what it is now so let's get these off and uh, get some work done and by the end of this video I want to be hauling out this table I'm gonna swap it out with a little small table I have up in the loft and that's gonna be my podcast table and we're gonna in the next few days start on this
Cheap! 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 Oh, them birds are loud this morning. Feed them too much. All right. About 114, 115 days into the carnivore lifestyle. Man, I got to see if I can do this. You're going to be my witness. Here we go.
All right, I picked up these stickers at the uh, lumber store. Uh, that's what they use to stack their lumber. I got them down here so I can get the bottoms even. I kind of shimmed up this side. I do got a gap at the top, but when you're standing up, man, you know, I don't think that's going to matter to me. The main thing that matters is they're even. So now that I got the pegboard on there, that stuff's pretty hard to just drill through. So I'm going to pre-drill some holes much but I see how it moved on me okay we're still all right I mean this is a workshop guys it ain't got to be perfect but I give you guys a hint if you make your workshop look good your wife your wife ain't gonna mind it so much you make an ugly old thing out there yeah they're not gonna like that all right, let's go ahead and put some screws in this one And I'll paint these hinges probably just here in the middle where you can see them. Uh, kind of pulled it up a little. It'll be all right. I'll just pull this out. They're not going to be perfect. It's a shop, man. That's all it is. I probably uh, see how that pulls out if you go too tight. You just back off and just bring it snug. I originally had a different hinge on here. I didn't like them. They were hard to adjust. They're, they're more for a cabinet in a house. Once I get them now, yeah, see how it pulls that out? Loosen that up. Kind of hard to control it with these drills. magnet will pull that in when I get them. So I'm going to continue going on down the line and we'll see how they look when we're done. spend any more time on these once I get the magnets on it'll suck these in I'll get some good strong ones uh, you know they're not perfect but they're good enough all that you're gonna be used for is I'm gonna put tools and stuff in there whatever I need to put in there they're good enough if I spend keep spending more time on them then other things aren't getting done so 
I got to get this table out of here and clean up in here a little bit. Uh, I am going to frame this out. Let's do this right now. I'm going to frame this out. That just doesn't look right the way it is. So it would look really good with a frame. I've got plenty of one by four, so let's get that done real quick. And we'll get one made for the other side. So let me get some measurements, get those cut and painted, and we'll throw them on. Alright, I'm too lazy to drag out the air compressor and plug it in and all that. So hopefully there's enough air left in the tank to do what I need to do here. I'm also too lazy to move that saw. Oh, don't leak out. Don't leak out. Let's do a dry fit here. Wait a minute. Couple in on each end. Got to get them straight. Shoot out. And yes, I drove one through my finger the other day. So if you see my finger raising, that's why. These just hold them in place. It ain't real strong. That's the idea. Just to hold them in place so you can paint them. Get them stuck up there. Hey, man. But it's nice to have a flat table to do this so you can get them even. Picture frames. Nice fit. See, that one went through. Alright, let me make one more and we'll hang these dudes, paint them and hang them.
No, I ain't gonna make you watch this. Let me show you guys something that's just a thought right now, but very doable. And that is, if I was to take a section of this carport, and you can see where my truck is, if I pull that in straight, there, there's plenty of room, about half. What if I just wall this part off? That way I can leave my tools hooked up in there, my, my, my saws, and an additional workspace and run some electric in here because it's a hassle moving these things every day every time i'm doing a project bringing them out bringing them in bringing them out bringing them in half the time i leave them out here and cover them with a tarp which i'd rather not do but it would not be a problem to wall this off maybe about here a little, little under half and go all the way down and wall that off and i can buy that same metal Go across there and go down there and it wouldn't take much at all and then have a locking door on it I think that's a plan but I got to, I got a lot of projects right now but that's a future a future idea this has to come out of here I caught Tilly chewing on my propane hose she just cannot leave the grill alone so I got to get this out of here Especially when I'm cooking, because she sees the meat go on there. Dogs, man. Let's go see what they're doing. What they're doing, the synchronized napping. Yep, they're under there. Yes, I was talking about you, little girl. All innocent. There's your partner in crime. Tell you, Miss Melly Moo. And I got a spot cleared here in about an hour. Any time now, I got a new piece of equipment coming for the gym. And it's going to live right there. And it's cool. And here's the state of the other shed. I know. It just, I, I just, it just never ends. And that's a stand for my saw. Now, if I section that carport off that can go out permanently but look at the e-bikes guys I, gotta, I know and i got lumber and stuff in here and i've been picking out some of the tools to go over there i just don't have enough space yet on pegboard and i can't even get back to that back there there's also a toolbox in the corner back there full of tools how am i going to get that out ah, that's a whole nother video but we should be able to get all the tools together and be a one happy tool family. And another thing I discovered, I, I've already moved that one to the new shop. But I bought two of those. I didn't know I had one and I went and bought another one. So that's why it's important to have your tools organized. You don't have to go buy duplicates and triplicates. You know, now I got two of them. How many of those are you going to use at once? The bar stools will be going in, uh, maybe one or two of them will go in there. They're perfect height for the uh, workbench. Not that I'll be sitting much there, but you know, there's another old table saw. There's just stuff. I, I got to be able to get in here and move around. And there's some things back there that need to go in there. And I do need to buy a new set of open end wrenches. I don't have a very good set. Half of them are missing. They were there. I took what I had in there. But they're everywhere. So I'm not going to buy anything till I get them all together and organized. Tomorrow afternoon, young lady, you're going to the doctor. And I know there ain't nothing wrong with you. You're one of them hypercondylacs. Come here. Look at me. Ain't nothing wrong with you. But we're going to take you anyway. That's what happens. When you act like you're sick and you're not, you got to go to the doctor, and I'm going to get you a shot, a rabies shot. And even you, you don't even really need one. You don't go nowhere. Treat. 
Yeah. That's how I know she's a hypochondriac. You. We gotta put the fur pulling stick back on you. You can't go to the doctor all raggedy muffin. Looks a lot better. A lot better. I'm getting too fancy in here, man. I gotta, I gotta stop. I gotta stop doing this. All right. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you are new to my channel or you're watching for the first time, consider subscribing. This is gonna be my laser engraver shop. I'm gonna have two laser engraving machines and I'm also running this without electricity we're using solar generators other than the one uh, outlet for the air conditioner the rest of everything else is going to be run by solar generators so that's going to be interesting I have a brand new machine in the house that's big enough to power the laser machine both of them so we're we're good there so thanks for watching guys happy trails